Manatee season is finally here and here this morning to discuss some of the ways that we can really help manatees. We have Ann Messer, Executive Director of Friends of Manatee Lagoon. You even brought a nice little stuffed animal here. Um, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we love our sea cows. Manatees are so important. So talk a little bit about manatee season, which has started, and why it is so important to acknowledge the season and how to protect these creatures. So glad to be here and thank you for giving us yeah, this opportunity. Sure. So manatee season starts November 15th okay. through March 31st. Mm -hmm. And this is a very important time where the manatees are leaving their summer habitat and coming down to South Florida okay. for their northern habitat, <laughs> similar to snowbirds. But they, so everyone will start seeing a lot more manatees in our waterways. And if you want to see them up close and personal, come over to the Manatee Lagoon Center in Riviera Beach. And, and they're such sweet creatures, but we do have to be careful because they're very friendly, which yeah. means they're friendly with boats. And unfortunately, that's how a lot of them die, those boat propellers. And I know the, the seagrass, like even just what they eat, that's a big problem too. Right, so the two main challenges for manatees currently are the lack of seagrass. They're starving. The that's manatees their food. Are starving. And um, seagrass is deteriorating because of the pollutants in the water, mm -hmm. nutrients, um, boats going through seagrass beds. Um, it's an issue. So that's one of the challenges. The other challenge is boat strikes. Mm -hmm. um, that's very deft. Manatees are slow swimmers, mm -hmm. just like turtles. So the propensity of a boat hitting them is high. So tell us a little bit about uh, Manatee Lagoon, some of the things you guys are working on that you're excited about. What we're really excited on, about is our main focus right now is seagrass restoration okay. for many obvious reasons. And we have embarked on a project to build a seagrass aquarium, okay. a seagrass interactive wall, and this will be a really cool wall. We're going to have the seven varieties of seagrass mm -hmm. and families and children can go up and turn these little dials and identify the different seagrasses. So oh, that'll wow. be like a fun thing, as well as I said, the seagrass aquarium. And our biggest project, which is really dear to us, is a seagrass nursery, mm. where we're going to be building seagrass tanks to grow seagrass, and eventually working with the environmental management group here in West Palm to plant the seagrass in the Lake Worth Lagoon. Oh, see, that's fantastic. And, and you know, you talk about it being interactive for the kids, but for adults, you know, the boaters out there to be able to recognize that seagrass, recognize where it is, even right. more important too. Right, thank Well, you. thank you so much. And thank I always you. tell anyone who moves here, you can ask Stephen, Stephen's new here. And, and I said, okay, when it gets chilly, you gotta go to Manatee Lagoon, because you've gotta go to the upper deck where you can see all the manatees congregating and there's always that live camera that's just fun to watch as well. That's right and I would like to remind your viewers that with the holidays coming up adopting a manatee is a great way oh, to give a, a gift of, for someone. Um, we all have so much stuff right sure. so it's nice to be able to gift a grandchild, a, a cousin, a relative, a manatee. What a great idea. Great. I love that. And we actually have a link to your website on ours. We've made it really easy for everybody. So you want more information, you can always go to our website, WPBF.com. Thank you so much. We love when you guys come and, and talk to us about our lovely sea cows. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. Same Pleasure.